Now the next option is the advanced option which if you expand it in front of the number of CPUs for parallel computing you can enter the number of CPU cores which you want to use to generate mesh. Obviously if you enter a bigger value you can generate your mesh over your geometry faster. And finally, as you probably knew, if you expand the statistics section, you can see the number of nodes and the number of elements generated inside your computational DOM. Now in this session, we talked about the global settings inside the ANSYS machine software. In the next sessions, we will talk about the local settings and how you can customize different commands and how to use them to create a modified mesh inside your geometry.